Thanks for joining us here at b to Hall Week as we learn how to use transfer sheets. Here are a couple examples of some jewelry pieces that have been made using transfer sheets. You can see here that we've used some of the word transfers, which are a lot of fun, with glass domes. Here is a wood pendant that has a transfer sheet. I want to show you this because you don't always have to go to the edges of your setting. Uh, you can go ahead and have a little bit smaller size transfer and then let the edges show, which is kind of fun with the wood pieces. Here's another piece of wood with a transfer on it. And here we've put a transfer sheet in the bottom of a bezel setting and put resin over the top. So how do we do this? How do we get our transfers onto our settings? First, you need to gather your supplies. You're gonna definitely need some, a little bowl of room temperature water. You're gonna need a paintbrush, some sealant or varnish. You're gonna need a scissors to go ahead and cut out your transfer image. You can also use punches if you're using the Patera uh, settings that we have punches which are available that exactly fit them. You're gonna need a pair of tweezers and you're gonna need a cloth. So you're gonna wanna pick out the transfer you're gonna wanna use and they come in sheets like this. What's really nice about that is that on the back, it has all the instructions you're gonna need. So you can refer to this video or you could go ahead and use the instruction sheet. They're very good and detailed and they'll walk you step-by-step step through how to do it. Make sure that you are purchasing a transfer sheet and not a collage sheet. They actually look identical, um, but they are very different. The collage sheet has solid white back on it and the transfer sheet has a special adhesive back on it, which is gonna come off. All right, we're all set up with our supplies and we're ready to begin. I've got a transfer sheet here. As you can tell, it's been well used. And I'm gonna take this image here. There is a hole punch specifically for that heart shape. And I've already went ahead and punched it. You can also cut it with a pair of scissors. So once you have that shape cut out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pair of tweezers. You're gonna go ahead and submerge the entire image in the water. You can probably tell it curls up. That's totally fine. And you're gonna let it sit there for about a minute. All right, it's been a minute. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our pair of tweezers, pull our image out of our water, set it down onto a dry cloth. Go ahead and just gently dab it so that you get some of the excess water out. And you can probably tell it is already peeling away from its backing. Go ahead and just slide it off. You can discard the backing. And then we are gonna carefully Place this, you have a little bit of wiggle room. Down into our setting. And then just take your finger and smooth it out. You can probably tell that what was white is now clear and so your uh, bezel setting is showing through whatever color that may be. Ours is silver so I like that against the black. Okay, so that actually adhered it to your setting, but you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and seal it. And to seal it, we're gonna take our sealant and we're gonna wait a few moments just for that to dry. It is actually pretty dry already, but we don't want any water there. And then we're gonna just dab our paintbrush. And then we're just gonna paint a thin layer of sealant over the top. making sure to get into the edges. We'll let that dry. And now we can either go ahead and put findings on top of it, we can seal it with resin, we can do whatever we like. Now, if you were going to go ahead and use the word transfers, you would use them the exact same way. You would go ahead and cut them out of your transfer sheet, cut as close to the lettering as possible, and then go ahead and put them directly on top of whatever paper you have below them because that paper is then gonna go ahead and show through. And then you would just go ahead and seal it the same way you do the other transfer sheets. Transfer sheets are a lot of fun. There's a lot of different uses for them. Enjoy, just make sure that you're buying transfer sheets, not collage sheets. And remember that whatever is white on the transfer sheet is going to be clear. And if it's a light backing on the transfer sheet, it's going to fade into the background of your setting. So just keep those tips in mind and have fun.